I'm Wendy Gardner and I'm going to demo this fabulous Fiskars Fabric Circle Tool. This is a way of cutting out perfect circles very easily using a lovely acrylic grid. So what I have here is an acrylic ruler, as we've come to expect when you're going to use a rotary cutter. On the bottom it has got, you can just see through it, these nice non-slip grips so it holds it steady. And you can cut anything from a 12 inch down to a 2 inch diameter circle. So that's the width across. It has grooves for each one, which you work around, and it comes with its own little tool. So this is the little tool it comes with. Now this is a lovely little rotary cutter, but got a safety cap on it. And inside there, you have the blades. If I push down on the top, as I would when it's down that way, you will see the little 18 millimeter blade popping out. So it's nice and safe. When it's, um, when it's not being pressed, it's tucked away inside there. That's really useful. Also on here, we have markings. We've got a cross hair here. So if you're using a fabric that's got a definite sort of right and left to it, you make sure you center that, the vertical cross line, and then you put the horizontal one along the fold. Because what you're cutting is half the circle, but because it's on the fold of fabric, you open it up and you've got a complete circle. So let me show you how easy it is to use. So I have a really pretty fabric here. It's actually part of one of our panels. And I'm just going to get the crosshair right in place. Now you also find on the underside of this, there's like a little, it's actually a quarter inch grid there. And that sort of is slightly raised on the undersound, underside, so it kind of helps butt up against and keep that nice and straight. And now what I'm going to do is use my little tool here. Now this is again, it's got some lovely nifty little features. It has some little lugs poking out and they're going to fit into the grooves. When you turn it up, where are those lugs? Well, they have little markings on the top. So you can just see where to put those lugs and you can even feel it fits in. And if I just go around like that, I'm not cutting at the moment because I haven't pressed down, but I know that those little lugs are in place. And then as soon as I press down on it and push it round, I can cut. And back again, make sure it's cut perfectly. And you can just take it off. And there you have a beautifully cut circle. Now, I can also cut half circles. So if I want to cut a semicircle, I do the same thing. Now I can either cut it on a fold or I could cut it on an edge. But if I cut it on a fold, I can then cut them open. So again, I'm going to line up my ruler, but this time, not the crosshair, because I want to include a quarter of an inch of a seam along the bottom of my semicircle. Because on your circles, the quarter of an inch is already included on the outside. So when you're cutting a 12 inch, you're actually cutting 12 and a half. So you've got a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside. So this time I need to add my quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up. Now on the side, on the left hand side, you've actually got half circle seam allowance written, but you've also, it's also in line with this extra ridge that's on the underside. So I can just line that up. And what you'll see I'm doing is I'm not lining the crosshair. So that is, it is, but it's a quarter of an inch above the fold but the bottom of this sort of ridge and the line on the side here is all lined up. And again, I can just put my tool in place, my cutting tool, just make sure I line up the little marks on the outside, just checking it's in the groove, which it is, and then holding this in place, press down, work round, go back again. You don't have to go back again. I'm just doing this just for making sure I've definitely cut it. And then when I take that out, oh, I just didn't cut that perfectly there. I'm just going to cheat and cut with a little pair of scissors just to cut that bit. When I open this out now, you can see it, rather than around, it's slightly oblong. Now, if I now, and of course I could use a rotary cutter to do this, but I'm just going to use scissors. If I cut along there and then I have a seam. So say I was going to do two semicircles in different colours, which would look quite nice. I can then take a quarter of an inch seam, 
just thrown pins all over the place because I got them out of the pin dish. And then I open that up and I'm back to a circle. So that is a very quick and easy way to use your Fiskars fabric circle cutter.